In this lecture snippet, I want to focus in on the logical cluster number and also the virtual cluster numbers that I will have for a non-resident file in the master file table record. And in the previous video, I went ahead and looked at the data attribute and found the actual LCN and VCNs. In this video, I want to actually take that data out and make sense out of it. And this video is going to be broken up into two parts. This first part is to actually extract the information and actually make sense of it. In the next video, I'm going to look at taking this data that we have and converting it over so that I can actually find the file on the hard drive itself. And so there's going to be two parts. I've also made this hexadecimal information available in a text file on my website, lecturesnippets.com, that is available for download so that you can look through the same hexadecimal information that I have here on my screen. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the data attribute. I'm at the top of my MFT record. You'll see the file zero. And so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down until I find the attribute. And I see there's the data attribute. And I'll scroll down just a little bit more. This is where the data runs are. So this is where my information is going to be for my logical cluster number and the virtual cluster number. And the big difference between the logical cluster number and the virtual cluster number is that the logical cluster number will come first. And that is the starting position on my hard drive from where I'm going to find my file. The virtual cluster numbers are going to be relative to that starting position. And so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this information. I'm going to highlight this first set here and show you that I've pulled it off over here. This is going to indicate the logical cluster number information. And how I know that is the first set of numbers that I have here, this 3, 1, they're actually, instead of it being 1 byte or 8 bits, it's actually in nibbles. And so they're half of a byte or 4 bits each. And what we have here is the 1 is going to indicate the number of bytes used to show the number of clusters. And so what we'll end up following is this after the 1 here, I'm going to use this one set of numbers here, which is one byte, and that's going to tell me how many clusters I actually have in a row on this location. So I've actually got only one cluster there because you see a 0, 1 in there. The next number, the 3 that I have here that indicates, that tells me that the next 3 or the following 3 are going to indicate the actual logical cluster number itself. And so you'll see I pulled off the 31, the 0, 1, 2F, EE, 0, 1. And that's going to end the information for the logical cluster number. Now the next set of numbers that I have is another 3, 1. And I'm actually going to keep repeating this process until I get to a set of two zeros. And so the 3, 1, is, now from this point on, it's going to be a virtual cluster number. And why is a virtual cluster number? It's because the number is relative to the starting position of my logical cluster number. And they're always going to be kind of offsets for each one of these positions based on the previous position. And so the first one, the LCN starts it off, and then everything else is an offset for that. And so I see the 3, 1, which is going to tell me that the next one over is going to tell me how many clusters I have, which is a 0, 3. And then the following three are going to indicate the actual address that I'm going to be looking for for this virtual cluster number. And then I come over here and I have a 1, 1, which is going to tell me that the next one byte is going to tell me how many clusters I have, followed by just one byte to tell me the actual offset or the VCN. Then I come over here and I have a 1, 1. And again, this is going to tell me that the next one is going to tell me how many clusters I have there. And then the following one is going to tell me the actual virtual cluster number offset. Come back to the next row. I have another 3, 1. And it's going to tell me that one of these bytes is going to indicate the number of clusters I have. And then the following three are going to tell me the actual VCN number. And then I have another 2, 1. And this process is just going to keep going through, and you can see that I've pulled them all out for you here. So I've got a 2, 1, which is going to tell me the next one, and then the following two belong to that VCN. Then I have a 3, 1, which tells me that the next one is the number of clusters, and the next three will happen to be the actual virtual cluster number. I have another 3, 1, which means the next one is the number of clusters, and the following three happen to be the virtual cluster number, and then I have a 3, 2, which is going to tell me that the next two will indicate the actual number of clusters I have, and then the following three will indicate the actual virtual cluster number. So that takes me now finally to a set of zeros, and so that will end my logical cluster number and virtual cluster number series for the data run. And in the next video, I'm going to take this same data that I've already pulled out, and I'm actually going to interpret it for you so you can see where to find the information on a hard drive.